Bienvenidos, Ushamdi, and welcome to this HUD8 networking tutorial on MPLS Layer 3 VPNs. In this fourth video of our seven part series, we're going to be taking a look at the multi protocol BGP configuration. Now, I'm calling this my Director's Cut series because I've remade a previous MPLS L3 VPN series that's been up on my YouTube channel for four years. And even though it's been up for four years, those videos are the number one and number two performing videos on my channel. And so as a thank you to all the viewers out there who put me over a million views, I wanted to remake and sort of polish up and put out a much nicer product and much more consolidated in terms of setting up MPLS Layer 3 VPNs. And so this is my thank you to you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in here. So we're gonna be looking at multi-protocol BGP in this video. Now, we've already done the service provider core configuration with OSPF. We've done the label distribution protocol configuration with LDP. We then set up the virtual routing and forwarding instances that we're going to use for customer A and customer Z. And we did that on the provider edge routers. And again, in this fourth video on multi-protocol BGP, and I could really say multi-protocol IBGP, we're again gonna be focusing on those same provider edge routers. That's where all of our configuration is going to happen. And again, I can't stress this enough, we haven't even touched the customer edge routers yet. The customer edge component is extremely simple and very straightforward. And I can't reiterate this enough, that is really the killer application of MPLS L3 VPN and MPLS in general. Uh, from a standpoint of it's so easy for the customer to purchase this service and to get things set up. It's on the provider side where all the heavy lifting is going to take place. So let's go ahead and dive in on those provider edge routers. And so here we are on router 3 PE1. And we now need to get multi-protocol IBGP set up. So let's go from user exec to privilege exec into global config. And I'm just going to say router BGP1. Now, the first command I'm going to run is no BGP default IPv4 unicast. And this is going to ensure that when I add the neighbor statement in, in the main section of the BGP config, that it does not activate that peering automagically. That we're going to have full control and we're going to have to activate under the specific address family that BGP pairing. So if I hit enter here, let's go ahead now and configure this neighbor pairing. So I'm going to say neighbor, and what IP address would I use? And if we drop back and take a look at the diagram we have at present, you can see I've got the transit network segment, but remember we used IPOSPF prefix suppression here. So router three, PE1, is not going to see this transit network segment for router five, PE2, but it is going to see the loopback address. Remember, we advertised into OSPF the loopback addresses of the provider edge routers. We did the same for the P1 router, router four, but here it becomes extremely important because we, as long as we have reachability, can set up an IBGP pairing between PE1 and PE2. And that is exactly what we need to do here. Because now we need to do it as a VPN v4 address family activation. And the reason for that is remember looking down here, we have the route distinguisher prepended to the IPv4 address. So the 64 bit route distinguisher, which again has nothing to do with BGP extended communities, is not a BGP. Uh, attribute and is only used to make the NLRI that's going to be advertised from those customer edge routers, that network layer reachability information, it makes it unique. And so in order for me to communicate between PE1 and PE2 and vice versa, the VPN v4 address information, which is going to be all this information coming in from the customer edge routers into their VRFs, we need to use VPN v4 BGP or multi-protocol BGP. And VPN v4 is just simply another protocol. So let's go ahead and say neighbor 5555 
and we're going to say remote autonomous system is one. Remember, this is a multi-protocol I BGP pairing. And then we're going to go ahead and set the update source. Now, technically, the update source for loopback zero, we only have to do this on one side or the other. It doesn't have to be on both sides. However, as a best practice, always set your update source on both sides. Now, this is where we're going to say address family VPN v4. Remember, this is a VPN v4 address family because that is the information that we are exchanging in our BGP updates. Now, I could say unicast, but you don't have to. It's understood. It's implied that it's going to be the unicast right there, right? So I could put it or I could leave it off. It'll work both ways. So here is where I've got to come in. And I have to say, I'm going to activate, whoops, I'm sorry about that. we got to activate this peering. Now, we haven't configured PE2, so nothing's going to happen yet, and that's okay, because that gives me an opportunity to say 555, and we want to set next hop self. And this is also important, because remember, for the VPN v4 NLRI, that router 3, PE1, is going to be advertising to its multi-protocol IBGP peers, in our scenario here, it's only Router 5 PE2, we need to make sure that we let Router 5 PE2 know that, hey, if I'm giving you these VPN v4 routes, that the next hop is me. So you're going to be using me as the next hop. And when I say me, we're talking about that loopback address of 3333. So that is our configuration right there. It's extremely straightforward. Let's go ahead and say do show run section router BGP. And that's what we've got right now. And in order to stand up the VPN v4 peering, this is all we're going to need. So let's go over to router 5 PE2 and see what we've got. So we'll go from user exec to privilege exec into global config. We'll say router BGP1. Again, no BGP default IPv4 unicast because I want to control with activations the IPv4 unicast peerings. I don't want them to just come up auto-magically. So let's go ahead and say neighbor 3333. The remote AS is our AS, multi-protocol IBGP peering. And then we're going to say neighbor 3333. And remember, I don't have to have this on both sides, but best practice, let's put it on both sides. Loop back zero. Now, you'll notice that when I say do show run section router BGP, that there is no address family configured yet, right? We haven't set address family VPN v4. But you'll also notice that there is no peering that has come up yet. If I say do show IP BGP summary, we don't see a peering. And the reason for that is I've got control of it because of that no BGP default IPv4 unicast because I have to activate it like I did in the address family previously. So if we say address family VPN v4, and again, I don't have to say unicast. I can, but you don't have to. This is where I'm going to come in and activate it. Now, before I activate it, I'm going to show you. If you tried to say next hop self before you activate it, I believe you're going to get a error here. It's going to tell you, yeah. So you actually have to activate the peering before. And you know what I just realized? I put in the wrong neighbor statement. I want 3333. So let me pull this back here. And let's say control A, I apologize there. So, and not the next top self, but the, oh, actually, okay, good. I, I thought for a second there, I'd put the activate command in first. So if you type this command in first, and again, even with the correct IP address, 3333, if I say next top self, it still wants me to activate it, right? You have to activate it first. And so I kind of saved myself there by going out of order intentionally to show you the mistake and then realized, hey, I've got a second mistake here. So I've got neighbor 3333 and we're gonna activate that peering. And now I should see the neighbor relationship come up. And as I do that, we're gonna say next top self and there it is. So we have a VPN v4 peering that is now up. So if I was to go ahead and say show BGP IPv4 unicast, and I could say uh, summary, what do you think I'm going to see right now? And the answer is nothing, right? We're not seeing anything because it's not an IPv4 unicast BGP peering.
it is a VPN V4. So show BP, BGP VPN V4 Unicast all summary. And that is sort of the new cool way to do it. Saying show IP BGP, that's sort of the old school way. And so this is kind of considered the new school way for IPv4. And when we're dealing with multi-protocol like VPN v4, we're going to say show BGP VPN v4 unicast all summary, which is equivalent to saying show IP BGP summary if it was an IPv4 BGP pairing. So this shows me that we've got the VPN v4 pairing up and everything looks great here. Now, no prefixes received, but again, remember, have we set any customer edge pairings up with our PE routers? We haven't. We haven't exchanged any NLRI. So let's go ahead and step back over here, over to router three and say, show BGP VPN v4 unicast all summary. And as you can see, everything looks good. If I was to pull the summary off, that would show me the BGP routing table for the VPN v4 address family. But again, there's no routing information that we've received yet from those customer edge routers that would end up in a VPN v4 BGP table. So we don't have that set up yet. And that is going to be what we do when we jump into the next video and we look at how you would set up an eBGP peering with our customer edge and provider edge routers. And so let's take one final look, show run section router BGP. And the same is true over here. We'll say show run section router BGP. And again, I'm gonna be providing these configuration files once everything is completely done. And there it is. That's all that was required for us to set up a VPN v4 multi-protocol IBGP address family. And we have our peering up and everything is now ready to go for us to set up the customer edge to provider edge pairing with eBGP and then advertise some NLRI from the customer edge routers. And we're going to establish reachability across the service provider cloud. All right, well, that is going to be all for this video. And really the only command that we were interested in there was that show BGP VPN V4 unicast all, right? That newfangled address family way to do it. We could say summary, I could have added neighbors in there, but we see that the peering is up and that is exactly what we want. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series and on to the next video.